Okay, um, I came up with some more ideas while I was watching my video. Turns out that even though it looks like, um, it's a little bit lag behind, it's actually not. It was, cl it was clear, everything came out the way I wanted it. So I'm happy with it. So, um, I guess I'll, um, but I wanted to add some other things. Um, uh, things that I would that cross my mind as to what the positives and negatives of this could be, or what uh, we're trying to avoid, I guess. Um, I don't think anybody should be, try to be a salesman. Um, I've seen a lot of part of what I've been trying to do in, in some of my videos is just be true to what happens to me when I do what I do. Because you know, if you do anything else, it's it's you're just gonna piss someone off. <laughs> it's bottom line, who you are. You know, it's not gonna you know, if you try to make it look better than it really is, it's not gonna work or, or if you try to make it worse than it really is, it's, it's just gonna piss someone off too. You know. And um it just almost strikes me that some of the videos are kind of there to be sales points rather than <coughs> just what are we working with? What what are you actually going to go through when you use these things? <coughs> and I think it's very important because we we've got two sides of the coin. We've got the side of the coin where yes, there can be difficulty. The other side of the coin is yes, it could work out for you if you know what to do. So. I guess the idea is for us to let people know what to do and um, not to uh, describe the experience as being anything different than it is. Um, so having said that, I'm going to try to go into what I, uh, I guess I'll stop here and then my next and then I'll just start right away with my actual camera thing. I'm going to have to figure out what codecs I have, but maybe I could probably show that in the Ubuntu Software Center. I'll go home. And uh, I got all sorts of things here to, to test out. And I could even go into a um, video about Audacity. I thought it was kind of kind of neat what could... I have some experience with it. Uh, not a lot. <laughs> I'm not an expert, but uh, you kind of don't want real absolute experts to do these things in one sense, but in another sense you, you do, I don't know, i got to sort that out in my own mind. Or maybe time will, or maybe it doesn't matter, but um, you kind of want someone that is <laughs> about where I'm at, that is, I'm certainly not a master of my system. But I could eventually get to where I want to be after going through all the humps and the hoops. And so, I guess part of what you would want to disclose when you do your video is just how much experience you have using this thing. But it's not to say as an, uh, someone that has enough experience to know what can go wrong should avoid taking the time to demonstrate what not to do. Um, so I guess let's use Audacity as an example uh, on a small thing. So if you, if Audacity is basically a program where you can record stuff that comes into your, into your um, computer from maybe a microphone or a stereo or something like that. Of course this program can do that as well, but Audacity is more geared towards audio exclusively. And um, so if you, and what I was, one thing I was doing is I was recording some really old tapes I had from like 20 years ago, just playing it on some old stereo we're going to get rid of eventually, and uh, getting rid of my tapes and archiving them in the form of, you know, just an mp3 and sticking onto my uh, iOmega ego for archiving. <laughs> I can look back on my life 20 years from now, for 40 years ago, and, oh, that's what I listened to. Yeah. 
on the radio. And this is the things that I liked. Oh, that's weird. But um, anyway, I found that when I had the, my stereo volume up too high, um, when I play it back and I wasn't careful, well, I got some recordings of a lot of just because I was bringing it in too loud. You know, that, that's my mistake. I made that mistake. It was, you can't blame Audacity. If I had the volume down lower, it would be a perfect recording. Um, when I first started using Audacity, I had trouble figuring out what device I was using. I'd come up with silent recordings. <laughs> Luckily, at that stage, I was checking and, and, and seeing that, you know, playing them back, oh, that's silent. i got to do that one again. Later on, I got overconfident and didn't check, and I got some squelches. Um, things of that nature, and just do, just do one thing. If you're a pro at Audacity and you got, oh, well, you know, you know things about audio that I would never know, your average person would never know, go ahead and say it. By golly, do it, but also show what can go wrong. You know, it can cut down on um, needs for, the need for help. And meanwhile, this could be your way of helping if you're not a programmer. You're just an end user like me. I'm not, you know, I've just written some bash shell scripts. I, I don't, it's just like putting the command line in the text, you know, everything you type in the command line in a text file, I don't count that as any, I'm not going to be able to come up with much, you know. So anyway, um, that's, anyway, I don't know why I went to my skill level. I, I guess just, just disclose what you know. If you're the guy that makes whatever it is that you make, um, I'm the, I'm the guy that makes it. <laughs> it might not be big, too bad to have someone on there, from that perspective, have his own video about that, because then he could say, well, I'm still working on this part, so, you know, don't do that yet. Another idea I had, this is outside the realm of this project that I'm thinking of right now, right? so 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 far called desktop reports. I don't know. I don't need to throw a penguin in there. It's just called something straightforward. Desktop reports. Um, lost, my, lost my train of thought. I'm so tired. Well, that's that's it. I'll just do my camera thing, and I'll load these up to YouTube, and hopefully they won't be too big. And that'll be it. And that way, it'll be a positive way to describe what goes on. Because in general, a blanket statement like it's not ready for the Linux isn't ready for the desktop it doesn't really help. Someone can come on and say, well, when I when I when I installed. Um, like, like I, I can, I can say that when I installed Ubuntu Linux from the best of Linux DVD, uh, Ubuntu 9.10 in my HP Elite <laughs> um, 7100 mini tower with a uh, from HP that comes with Windows 7 pre-installed, uh, it installed perfectly, you know. <laughs> But I had a problem with the partitioning. You know, I mean, maybe some of the cylinders are off. I don't know. FreeBSD tells me that, but I'm not sure. Okay, that's it. Uh, you can do a short one like that, and I have a ViewSonic monitor, and it works perfectly. Yeah, um, and even detect the resolution perfectly. Stuff like that. You can do a short one. And that's it. You don't have to do the whole install. You can just say it worked. No problems. Or, or me when I had my you know, um, IBM Z2654, <laughs> I noticed that when I tried to install Mandrake uh, 7.3, uh, it didn't work, you know, you just put it up there, it's not a complaint, and it's not a sales pitch, it's just what it is, and then people can search the web, maybe the name of your video will come up, so make something descriptive as to what you're actually doing, Make it um, this with this with this with this. You know, spell your parameters so when they're searching, maybe they can look at your video and see what you did. Okay, done.